G'day, how you doing? Hope you're doing very well, keeping you healthy. Zach, I'm doing absolutely fantastic on this side of this. It's hot in Brisbane, but we'll be out of managed. Now, Dell has just announced the new portfolio lineup of their commercial products. So that's their latitude and also their precision range. Now, I was really lucky enough to actually go actually meet these products beforehand down at the Dell office and it was a wonderful experience for thank you for hosting that Dell for me and I unfortunately just because most of the products were pre-production models I wasn't able to actually test them out but at least I've got a touch and feel of it so I'm just going to actually tell you what they're really mostly done with it now first off is you'll see in all the whole entire range that they're pretty much doing a refresh on all the processors so you see the processor move up to the intel core ultras for the mob workstation range and also the latitude range and in their desktops you're looking at moving to the 14th gen now what's really what you'll see is going to be a highlight for especially the intel core ultras is they're going to have the mpu so this is about getting the ai workloads offloaded to MPU just to be more efficient and also faster. Now I've actually created a video about what the MPU is, put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But basically we've got MPU to help with a lot of the AI tasks that a lot of you are starting to see from a lot of the professional softwares and also softwares that has that does AI. Now what I want to talk about is really just doing image recognition, sound recognition and text recognition and basically helping that out so we can process it later on with other much more uh, what I'll say mundane puzzle or more advanced functions what AI can actually do now a good example of this is if you go down to pretty much uh, Adobe Premiere this is what I do for video editing you actually see the AI extra stuff that you actually if you move upgrade to special version 25 they actually now have a lot of AI built into it especially for sound helping you with doing like what we saw uh, ducking uh, that's the sound helping of that you can also do text recognition so it will be able to convert to transcribing that makes it a lot easier and you see auto framing as well so that's all done by ai and that is the adobe ai helping you out so which can be offloaded to the mpu now before i get all started with the mpu we're going to talk about all the range now first off let's start with the precision range and that is really the heart of what i love now the precision range there is the desktop computers so the first one of course is the mac daddy of all i actually got to see it is the precision 7865 workstation now this is the tower and pretty much that's going to be going to have you can load that up with quite some very powerful parts in that one there so that's a big tower there and again it'll be 14 gen intel core and then the next one that they've also announced is also the precision 3280 compact form factor so cff is something special because it is such a small form factor that is still able to support tensor core gpus so very cool there now moving on to the mobile workstation they did do a refresh on the 3000 and 5000 series and i did manage to meet the precision 5490 and the 5690 so that's the 14 and the 16 inch and you probably noticed with the numbers for the precisions to end in 90 which means they're the 2024 versions and i'm very happy to say with the precision 56 and 90 it still has the hdmi port Absolutely fantastic love seeing the hdmi port on business computers so they'll still listen to our feedback and they still kept it in absolute fantastic now with the 5490 that still is just for the thunderbolt ports there is no hdmi port on that one yet so fingers crossed they'll hopefully maybe put a hdmi port on that one there now happy to say the 5000 they still have the oled option if you want for the display moving over to the latitude range which is really the heart of the commercial computers for dell and they did do a refresh on the 5000 7000 and 9000 series for the latitude and from all the touch and feel that i actually experienced uh, with all those free series and also the different sizing it pretty much was mostly the processor being refreshed to the intel core ultra and most of the ports i found pretty much similar to last year models now there is a latitude I did not see for a while and it was surprised to see it and this is probably something that you see Dell probably advertise a little bit more which is the Dell Latitude 7350 detachable. Now 
I think the last one that they actually had was in 7320. So it's been a couple of years. Now, this is very similar to other vendors where they have a detachable or surface sort of type. And it's what really cool is it now has got a serviceable display, which is really good because if you can crack it, at least they can actually now change it over. It makes it a lot easier to service that particular unit. Absolutely fantastic. It still has that nice sort of carpenter sort of type of pen and it's held in the back on the type cover which i loved and it's nice and it charges up absolutely love that sort of design fantastic there all these dell commercial computers announced in 2024 both the latitude and precision range hopefully get most of these on this channel for review so if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe to the channel so you can actually get notifications when i publish these videos out now you probably guessed it or noticed that all the 2024 versions of the latitudes will end in 50 to signify they're in 2024 and one of the ones that really did also surprise me was the 7000 range i just felt the left feel a little bit more premium than last year and also felt a little bit more lighter that was just something there now there was something that actually caught my eye now these are pre-production models i saw but this thing really stood out when i saw it and it's not something that actually gives you more performance actually more for commercial and those big enterprises that use this and it is a function which is called vpro now i saw the new vpro sticker i haven't seen it yet i was like wow that's something that was kind of cool so beware on that that is quite a nice looking sticker with the new vpro from intel now the last product that which really caught my eye what they announced was another premium wireless headset now these horse will have no active noise cancellation and these are called the w l7024 now this is something a little bit more higher than all the other ones they've got and it's got a very unique function and that is the noise cancellation is not only for outbounds it's also for inbound as well so normally the noise cancellation that you hear it'll be for the microphone going out to actually just map out what's in there but it's able to take on what other people input in for what you hear it is able to noise cancel that now that's something cool and that's done by the new ai in this wl7024 wireless headset very cool now besides that it also has uh smart actions which means you can actually either put it down and or either pause or play when it puts on the headset so that's kind of cool and also it's got replacement e-cushions as well so that's good to see for the sustainability you probably notice i haven't mentioned anything about the dell precision 7000 series traditionally that's usually announced and launched about midway of year as they usually house the performance version of the intel processors which hasn't been announced so maybe that might give you a clue on if there is any announcement from later this year for intel and definitely put a lookout for those as i am definitely looking out for those as well and i definitely love to hear if you are excited by any of these products from from dell either the latitudes or precisions or even the wireless headset definitely love to hear what your thoughts are or put a comment below and i hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it if you did either support my channel smash that like button for me share this video it does help me out and as always imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and i'll see you next video